Liam Payne lived a life most could only dream of international fame, chart-topping hits, and millions of fans. But behind the spotlight, there was a darker story. How did a boy with humble beginnings skyrocket to stardom, only to face deep personal battles? And what shocking events led to his tragic death? Stay with us as we dive into the rise and tragic fall of Liam Payne. Before we get started, please leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Let's get started. Liam James Payne was born at New Cross Hospital in the Heathtown district of Wolverhampton on 29th August 1993, the son of infant nurse Karen Payne and fitter Joff Payne. He had two older sisters named Nicola and Ruth. Payne was born three weeks premature and suffered frequent illnesses. Until the age of four, he had regular tests done in hospital as doctors noticed one of his kidneys was scarred and dysfunctional. He said in a book that before he was four, I was always in hospital having tests done but they couldn't find out what was wrong. They discovered that one of my kidneys wasn't working properly and it had scarred. I had to have 32 injections in my arm in the morning and evening to try and make me better. As a student, Payne was heavily involved in sports, particularly cross-country running. Payne joined the Wolverhampton Bilston Athletics Club to pursue his running career. For three years he was ranked in the top three 1500M runners in the country within his age group. He began taking boxing lessons at the age of 12 amidst bullying from older students in secondary school. Liam Payne was introduced to the world of show business at the age of 12, as a member of the Pink Productions Theatre Company, appearing as Tony Monero from Saturday Night Fever. Liam Payne had previously performed in front of a crowd of 26,000 during a Wolverhampton Wanderers football match. Liam Payne's musical journey began in 2008, when, at the age of 14, he auditioned for the British reality TV music competition The X Factor. Though his vocal talents impressed the judges, Simon Cowell felt Payne wasn't quite ready for stardom. Encouraging him to return in two years, Cowell's advice paid off. In 2010, Liam auditioned again, earning a standing ovation from two judges for his solo performance. Based on talent, absolutely incredible said Cowell, who sent the 16-year-old through to the next round. Liam X Factor journey took a turn when he was grouped with four other solo contestants Harry Styles, Zayn Malik, Niall Horan, and Louis Tomlinson forming the band that would change his life forever One Direction. Despite finishing third in the competition, the group quickly became a global phenomenon. One Direction skyrocketed to success, becoming one of the best-selling boy bands of all time. The group produced five studio albums and sold over 70 million records worldwide, breaking records with hits like What Makes You Beautiful Story of My Life and Night Changes. In 2012, the band made history by becoming the first British group to debut at number one on the US. Charts with their album up all night. Later that year, their single Live While We're Young shattered a Billboard record as the fastest-selling track by a non-US artist. The band had broken records that were set by the Beatles decades ago. Their fame was unmatched, with a level of success that hadn't been seen in years. The more fun we had, the more successful it got Liam said in 2019, reflecting on the whirlwind years with One Direction. But with that success came challenges. Liam frequently spoke about the difficulties of navigating fame at such a young age. It was a little bit dark and twisted toward the end of it, he admitted. Noting the constant presence of paparazzi and swarms of fans. In 2017, after One Direction went on an indefinite hiatus, Liam embarked on a solo career. That same year, he welcomed his son Bear with British singer Cheryl. Liam had first met Cheryl during his 2008 X Factor audition when she was a judge on the panel. The two began dating in 2015, and while their relationship ended in 2018, they remained committed co-parents to their son. Liam's solo debut single, Strip That Down featuring rapper Quavo, was a massive hit, earning over a billion streams on Spotify. His career also saw him collaborate with artists like J Balvin on Familiar and Rita Ora, on For You both of which collectively garnered more than 600 million streams. Despite his solo success, Liam opened up about his struggles with mental health and alcohol. He revealed in a 2019 interview that he had started drinking heavily while on tour with One Direction and that his drinking had continued after the band went on hiatus. There were a couple of very dark years of me going through extreme peril with different mental health things Liam shared with the BBC. He also mentioned that his family had been very worried about him during those turbulent times. In December 2015, when One Direction performed for the last time as part of the X Factor final, Liam was reunited with Cheryl Tweedy. At the time, Tweedy's marriage with her second husband, Jean Bernard Fernandez Versini, was on the rocks. By February 2016, the couple had split. 
It was around this time that many suspected Liam and Tweedy were secretly dating. This was confirmed in May of 2016, when they appeared arm in arm at the Global Gift Gala in Paris. At this point, Liam Payne was 22 years old and Cheryl Tweedy was 32 years old, a 10-year age difference. Less than a year later, the pair welcomed a son named Bear together in March 2017. My close friends and family know there are very few times when I'm left speechless. Wow, wrote Liam, announcing Bear's birth on Instagram. I'm incredibly happy to welcome our new baby boy into the world. It's a moment that I will never forget for the rest of my life and my favorite memory I have so far. I'm completely in awe of his incredible mother and how she has been the whole way through this. She's really made my dreams come true. The pair stayed together for just over a year following Bear's birth. Liam later divulged becoming a parent is what caused the breakdown of his relationship with Tweedy, telling the Logan Paul podcast you don't know what is coming and it's different. And to be honest with you, it ruined a relationship for me at that point but for all the right reasons. I was so excited for him to be born that I was actually worried if I wouldn't love him enough. In this interview, he also praised Tweedy's parenting skills, saying, She is the best mum in the world. I couldn't ask for someone better we broke up for a reason, and now she gives me full autonomy of my life and to do what I do and I know he's taken care of. He is all she cares about and I couldn't ask for more. They live like three minutes from my house. I always blew myself to where he is. My life now is his. My money is his. He's a lovely, lovely boy. We've been blessed Cole has also made comments about their successful co-parenting situation, telling the Telegraph in 2019 Liam is much softer than me. But it is what it is and I'm okay about it. When you have a baby, you are not consumed with just thinking about yourself. It's your responsibility to keep things settled and happy, so you make the best of everything. And we have. Liam has been in two serious relationships since he and Tweedy split in 2018. He dated model and author Maya Henry on and off from 2018 to 2022, with the pair even getting engaged in 2020. The couple split in 2022 after Henry accused him of cheating. But their fractious relationship didn't end there. Henry openly accused Liam of harassment earlier this month, saying he had taken extreme measures to attempt to contact her following their breakup. Ever since we broke up, he messages me, will blow up my phone, not only from his phone number, it's always from different phone numbers, so I never know where it's going to come from," she said in a TikTok video. Henry is said to have appointed lawyers and issued a cease and desist notice to Liam to stop his contact. July 2023, Liam shared that he was on a journey towards sobriety after spending 100 days in a rehab facility in Louisiana. I just kind of feel like I've got more of a grip on life and everything that was getting away from me. I just feel like I've got more of a handle on it. I just needed to take a little bit of time out for myself actually because I kind of became somebody who I didn't really recognize anymore, and I'm sure you guys didn't either. I was in bad shape up until that point and I was really happy to kind of put a stopper to life and work. Liam also referenced Louis Tomlinson's part in his mental health struggles in 2023, writing in an Instagram caption I'm so thankful to have you in my life mate I feel so lucky and I know you know this, but you were part of a small group of people that literally saved my life. You dragged me out of something so dark I've never shared it but your approach is something I admire and aspire to, so I can one day do the same. Liam's sobriety came into question earlier this month when he was filmed dancing and playing up to the cameras at fellow One Direction star Niall Horan's concert in Argentina. Payne decided to continue his stay in Buenos Aires, he tragically passed away on October 16, 2024, at the age of 31. His death occurred after he fell from the third floor of the Casas or Palermo Hotel in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The circumstances surrounding this incident remain unclear, with ongoing investigations attempting to determine whether the fall was accidental or intentional. On the day of his death, hotel staff contacted emergency services around 5 p.m. local time, reporting a guest in distress. Initial investigations suggest that Liam may have been alone at the time of the fall and possibly in a state of semi-consciousness. The autopsy revealed multiple serious injuries consistent with a significant fall including internal and external bleeding. Reports indicate that various substances were found in his hotel room, which has raised questions about his state prior to the incident. Authorities are treating the case as suspicious, conducting interviews with witnesses and confiscating Liam's electronic devices for further investigation. A toxicology report is pending to clarify whether drugs or alcohol were present in his system at the time of his death. The news of Liam's passing has deeply affected his family, friends and former bandmates. The remaining members of One Direction Harry Styles, Louis Tomlinson, Niall Horan, 
and Zayn Malik expressed their devastation in a joint statement on social media. They described him as a beloved brother and shared their cherished memories with him. Numerous people have paid tribute, including Harry Styles' mother, who wrote a post online that read simply just a boy. Liam's own family have said they're heartbroken and that Liam will forever live in our hearts and will remember him for his kind, funny and brave soul. We are supporting each other the best we can as a family and ask for privacy and space at this awful time. What an incredible, yet heartbreaking journey. Liam Payne's life was full of moments that inspired millions, but also a reminder of the struggles that come with fame. His story leaves us with so many questions about the price of success and how it can change everything. Now, we really want to hear from you. What was the most shocking part of Liam's story for you? Do you think there was a turning point where things could have gone differently? Drop your thoughts in the comments we love hearing your take. If this story moved you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to join us for more deep dives like this. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep asking the questions that matter. See you in the next video.